Hey everyone, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I'm going to do is walk you through the plugin Advanced Access Manager. What this allows you to do is completely customize the WordPress admin dashboard for different user roles across your site. And in my particular case, I was building a local directory site for a client. One of the requirements was that the users needed to be able to get into the back end and edit their own listings, but they didn't need to see any other users' listings. They only needed to see the ones that were authored by themselves. The other thing is I wanted to clean up the admin dashboard so that they would only see things that were directly applicable to them. So like they needed to see the listings custom post type, but they certainly didn't need to see any of this other stuff in here for the most part. And what I found is that Advanced Access Manager allowed me to do all of that and in the completely free base version, uh, basically every feature that I needed, those two that I just discussed specifically, were available right out of the box. Now what I did in this particular case was use the plugin called user role editor to create a new user role. I just called that owner and cloned the capabilities from the editor role, the default editor role in WordPress. So I have a user on this site called permaslug and they are set to the owner role. And under the listings here, I have four different posts. You can see the names are pretty self-explanatory, who they're authored by. And I have that so that we can set it to where it only shows posts that were authored by you. And unless, of course, you know, you're logged in as an administrator like I am here, I can see everything. So if I switch over to this incognito window real quick, you can see the editor role, and in this case, the owner role, has all of this stuff on the left-hand side here in the admin sidebar, but I basically only want them to see the listings and like the profile screen. I also don't want them to see really any of this stuff right here. I don't want the comments. I don't want the WordPress stuff. And in the new, the only thing that they should be able to see is listings. So what I did was installed Advanced Access Manager. And if I go over here, you can see all of the roles on this site on the right hand side over here. Just find your role and click on manage. Now, once you have that, you can move over here. So in the back end menu, this is the first tab here. So this is the dashboard. You can see they kind of correspond. The next one up is posts. Second there is posts and anything else that you have will appear. So for my role owner, they definitely don't need to see the updates. And this little hidden menu right here is something oxygen related. That's why there's this little gap right there. And so I'm just going to go ahead and click on restrict for that too. There is no save button. It just does it for you in real time, which is super awesome. And under the post screen, they don't need to be able to see posts. So I'm going to restrict that menu entirely. Under the media, you could just choose one individually that they uh, don't have access to. But again, I'm just going to restrict the whole menu media button. Under pages, once again, they don't need to be able to see pages, don't need to be able to see comments. They do need to be able to see the listings, but you'll notice there's not a way to show and hide based on the uh, author, you know, who the author is. We'll get to that in just a moment, so don't worry. I'm going to leave this as is. Then under tools, they certainly don't need to be able to see that. And of course, they certainly don't need to be able to see oxygen. A lot of this other stuff is grayed out because, of course, the user role is just a clone of editor, so they wouldn't see this stuff as an editor on the site. Now let's switch back over to the incognito window here and my permaslug user and refresh. And now you can see basically everything that we just removed has been changed accordingly. So if I click on listings, I still see all of the listings. I can edit my profile and under the dashboard, there's no more updates. It's just the basic dashboard. You could use another plugin to configure these widgets, uh, which we can get to in another video. Now what I want to do is, like I said, get rid of this stuff, kind of customize this toolbar. So let's go back to our admin side and just click on the toolbar tab right here. Again, I don't want to see any of this about WordPress stuff, so I'm going to restrict this menu. The sandbox here is just your site title, which is that right there. We don't need to show manager access, we just need to see visit site. So I'm just going to select the restrict button here. And then WordPress updates, we don't need to see that. Comments and moderation, don't need to see that. And then under the new option, we don't need to be able to create any new posts except listings. So I'm just going to tick those boxes right there. Now this demo tab right here is actually just your username. So that's what this is over here. So if you click on that, it takes you to your profile. Edit profile, it's basically the same button. And then log out. I'm just going to leave this stuff as is. Once again, let's go back over here to the incognito window. And now the only thing I have is visit site and new listing in my toolbar, which is pretty cool. The next thing I want to do is make it to where I can only see the posts that were authored by me as this particular user. So let's switch back over here to the admin side and we're going to go to the capabilities section right here. There's a ton of different capabilities in here, but the only thing you need to do is just go over one page and find these two things right here. So edit other posts is the one we want to deselect. And all that's saying is this is allowing you to edit posts authored by other people, you know, other than yourself. 
and the edit publish post means ones that I created here. If you don't want them to be able to publish posts, you could deselect that as well. You can kind of just read through these. They're pretty self-explanatory, but all that we're concerned about right here is edit other posts. You could think of this as edit other people's posts and just make sure that that's deselected. Now again, switch over to our admin side and refresh. And sure enough, now I only see the posts that are authored by me. So this is really cool. If I go back over on the admin side and click on the listings, I get to see everything because I'm an admin and I have that privilege to be able to see other people's posts. So again, you can see how quick and easy it was for me to completely configure the WordPress admin dashboard right here. And you can do this on a per user basis. So if some people need some options and others don't need others, then you can kind of change that on a per user role basis. That's why you can also go ahead and create a custom user role. And that way you're able to configure it even more granularly. Another cool feature of this plugin that's included in the free version is these access denied redirects and also the login and logout behavior. So if you don't already have a plugin or sometimes themes will do this for you, um, you can configure the access denied redirect both on the front end and the back end. So if somebody made it to a page that they didn't have access to in the back end, let's say they just typed it in manually, they'll get that default access denied message. You could also send them to a customized page or a customized little box there. Uh, same thing with the login and logout redirect. So if you need them to be redirected to a specific page on login, you can do that using a simple URL trigger like that. Or on logout, you can send them to, you know, like a thank you page or the home page or whatever you want. Although if you're using Oxygen, the 404 redirect may not be super applicable because you can create a 404 template. You could also send them to a specific page that you designed in Oxygen if you'd rather do that. There's all kinds of other stuff that you can do in this plugin, but specifically what I wanted to show you is what we just walked through, which is customizing the admin dashboard and also restricting access to posts that you authored. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.